Hey everybody, Papa Chaz coming at you today. Getting ready to cook some supper. Gonna do a version of a low country boil, only we are going to do it on skewers and cook it on the grill as shish kebabs. And you can see we've got our Johnsonville andouille sausage, uh, some different colored bell peppers, some corn on the cob, little red potatoes, and some shrimp. And we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. Obviously, we're going to cut it all up in little pieces, except for the shrimp, and we're going to put them on the skewers. So let me get uh, let me get some cleaning done, and uh, get this stuff cut up, and get some of it put on the skewers, and we'll show you what it looks like when we get done. And uh, this is really good. What we do when we when we get it off of the grill is we make a a little sauce to baste it with, just melted butter and hot sauce. To your taste uh, just to give it something to uh, baste it with uh, after we get it off the grill and I'm also you can see my my can of pineapple I'm not going to put the pineapple on the skewers but I am going to uh, grill some pineapple slices we're going to sprinkle a little cinnamon on them and put them on the grill as well uh, so that's where we're at today let me get uh, let me get this stuff cut up and then uh, we'll go from there uh, show you what it looks like and then I'll put some on the skewers and we'll show you it takes them about 30 minutes to cook and uh, we got shrimp, bell peppers, red potatoes, corn on the cob, and andouille sausage. We'll be back at you here in just a little while. Hey everybody, we're back. As you can see, I got everything sliced up. That was two ears of corn, two uh, andouille sausages, three different colored bell peppers, and I don't know how many shrimp it is. It's uh, That'll be enough. We're just doing enough for me and my wife. Now what you don't see is you don't see the red potatoes. I have them actually on the stove boil, uh, in a boiler. Uh, we don't cook them till they're done, but I do want to soften them just a little bit before I stick them on here and put them on the grill. And uh, just makes them cook a little bit better. I typically do not season this before I put it on the grill because, like I said uh, in the first part of the video, we're going to melt some butter and some hot sauce and mix it up together and uh, brush it on to this uh, as we eat it. Uh, probably do it on the skewers and then take it off the skewers. That's why we typically do it. But uh, that's where we are. And uh, let the potatoes get done cooking and I'll get a couple of these skewers made up and uh, show you what they look like. I typically do uh, a piece of the uh, pepper and then a shrimp and then a corn and then a sausage and then a different color piece of pepper and then a shrimp and then a corn so forth so on. And uh, till we get them done, but uh, let me get a few of them done. You'll see what they look like. Uh, and I promise you, this is good. I do like a, a good low country boil, but uh, uh, it's summertime and uh, it's grilling time, and we like to do these on the grill. And uh, it just they come up they come out pretty good that way. So uh, you'll see because we're going to do it here in just a few minutes. We'll be back at you in just a little while. Okay, everybody, there's me a couple of them right there. Got them uh, all done up. You can see we just alternate what we put on there. No particular order, no particular amount. Just try to get two two corns and, and two or three of everything else, and, and then we'll get it on the grill. I'm going to have to go outside and get my grill moved under the porch because we're fixing to get a storm, and uh, I don't want to be cooking out there in the rain. So I'm going to shut this down, go move the grill in. We'll be starting the charcoal here in just a few minutes and uh, get the rest of this stuff on the skewers and get it ready to go and hopefully have it uh, ready to eat by the time my lovely wife gets home from work today. So uh, there we go and we'll check back with you when we got them cooking and, and show you what they look like on the grill. No big deal I know, but hey, it's YouTube. We try to be thorough. So we'll be back at you here in just a little bit. Hey everybody, as you can see we're cooking. We're using the smoker grill as a charcoal grill today. Uh, last week the storms blew my other one over off the porch and uh, kind of messed the top up and I ain't had time to fix it or ain't took time to fix it. So we just got the uh, charcoal grates in the bottom of the Brinkman smoker and uh, using it today and uh, everything fits in there real good. Uh, I'm well pleased. This is the first time to be doing that. So uh, well pleased with my Brinkman Trailmaster. If you don't have a good smoker and you're not looking to spend a whole bunch of money, uh, these can be bought for right around $300 and they are well worth the money. Anyway, we're cooking. I'm going to leave it about 25, 30 minutes maybe. Come out and flip it every 10 minutes and uh, turn them over and uh, 
and then we'll be eating good in a little while. So we'll see you after a while. Hey everybody, we're back. You can see we've got them flipped over. I just want to show you how good that looks. That corn's cooking. It's been cooking about 10 minutes. And uh, we flipped them over, be about another 10 minutes. And I've added the pineapple slices and I'm going to set my timer on five minutes and come back and flip them over in five minutes and they'll be done and everything will be done. And we'll be eating. Anyway, that's our low country boil kebabs. And they are looking fantastic. We'll show them to you when they get finished and we'll be back at you in just a little while. Okay, everybody, we're back with it finished. You can see it, uh, it's all grilled up. Got our grilled pineapple our sauce to baste on there and uh, we'll be eating good here in just a little bit we'll come back with a uh, finished up with a picture of a plate full of food hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching